Can you tell me what you brought here today to be a prayer? Yes, I brought um, a Nippon bowl, and I brought a, brought a ring to see what it was. I didn't even know what it was, but then this was my prize. And this is a family heirloom, crocheted or embroidered, sewed by a Caroline Smith, and she was 16 when she did it. And I wonder if any, how many 16-year-olds could duplicate this. So one uh, appraiser looked at it but said the older gentleman knew more about this type of um, antique than the others. And he stood right up and came over and did say, uh, how much do you want for it right now? And I went, no, I'm not going to sell it, no, no. Um, but because I have the whole legend for it, back from the Mayflower all the way down to me, he said that increased its value. And he said he started, I think, was it? 3500 and up for this. Did you say what the up would be? No, he didn't. It depended. I, I suspect it would depend on how well I could document everything about it. And I can document it entirely. I want to know the worth because I have a few things that I think are worth things so that when I pass them on to the next generation, they're aware of what this is and how valuable it is because of its history. My great grandmother's rocker and two Chinese vases that came from China with my grandmother's brother. And did you have any surprises in the appraisals? I was pleasantly surprised, and of course, everybody wants to uh, buy them. <laughs> but it was good to know exactly, you know, the era in which they came from, and and the money value really wasn't important to me because they're family heirlooms. It sits at the foot of my bed, and I use it every day. Many hundreds of dollars, sure. And that was your great grandmother's. Yes. And when you sit in it, what do you, what do you usually do? Is it to put on your socks? Or? Sure. Yeah. Sometimes I just sit in it because it's very comfortable. And you feel connected to history? Yes, absolutely. What's your name, sir? Bill, Bill Jones. And Bill, what's this you have? The uh, what, mandolin. And how did you find it, or how yeah, did you? It was my grandmother's. Uh, she was a musician before she met my grandfather. 19, 19, 15, 16 era. It's old. That's all I know so far. <laughs> Fifty-three old. That was the very beginning. They're not the same thing as your cousin. I said, "If they were early, you'd have a lot of money, but they're not early." They're not. I kind of figured that they were. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Okay.